da 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 Are y'all ready for me to spill the real tea? <laughs> yeah. Ah! Yeah. Just it's, it's empty. It's fine. It's a joke. It's a joke. Ah uh, yes, hello, young noodle army, Jake Paulers, and fake beefers. Welcome back to another video. Now there has been so much. So, so much happening on YouTube this past week. It is almost too much for me to cover in one video, but I'm gonna do the absolute best that I can to try and cover a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of this, but maybe not that, maybe not that. Actually, no, get out, get out of here. Who invited you here? So episode two of Jake Paul Uncut was dropped this past week and uh, I was really excited personally to be able to just sit down and do a whole video on it, review it, talk about it, all of that. But it just so happens that nothing happened in it. Nothing. I mean, nothing happened in this video. Now, I was not expecting a whole lot from this series in general. I really feel like it's a poor man's Shane Dawson series, but hey, I was optimistic. I said, I'm gonna give it a chance. You never know what juicy goss and tea we're gonna get from it. And it just so happens that we're not really getting much of anything. Episode two really followed on from where episode one left off, which was talking about stuff, but not really talking about stuff. It was just... It was really disappointing, so I figured there's no point doing a full video on it just because there's not enough there to talk about, which is kind of disappointing. It just seems to me like the series in general just lacks like a clear narrative. I know the goal of the series is to show Jake Paul behind the scenes, completely uncut, but at the end of the day, I feel like there needs to be an underlying story that needs to be told through the series. Now, I do really feel like we have been spoilt because of Shane Dawson's series in the past, so obviously expectations are gonna be high, so you can't expect to have the same quality material. That's fine. But I'm just talking about, in general, there just, there really just feels to be like a lack of energy and soul and just content. It just feels like it's a bit of a money grab. I just, it just feels like it's someone saying, oh, well, hey, this was successful. I can do this too. It's what we call in the marketing world a me too product, where somebody sees a product that's really successful and they're like, oh, I want some of that. Me too, me too. I can do that. I can do that. And it just so happens that maybe you can't do that. Maybe the original is the best for a reason. And sometimes you can't replicate an original. Now we move on from some reality to some uh, fake beef. Yes, fake beef. Fake beef. Now real life brothers KSI and Deji are having a not so real life feud. Now these two have been going back and forth over social media and YouTube for the past two weeks or so. Deji was trashing his brother KSI saying, you know what man, you don't care about family. You've blocked your mom on LinkedIn. You've blocked dad on Snapchat. You hate us all. I just, you're my brother, man. I love you, I love you, but now I don't love you anymore. I want you out of here. And then KSI was like, oh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Uh, we're brothers, man. Let's take this offline. But I'll tell you all this in a video that has millions of views to my millions and millions of viewers. And I'll probably monetize the video too. But hey, that's besides the point. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so people all week have been speculating, is this beef real? Is it fake? What's going on? And then the absolute kiss of death occurred a few days ago. Now, if you see some feud online and you're not too sure if it's real or not, the absolute telltale sign that this is a complete work, that it's just for clicks, that it's just for views, it's just for attention, is when someone drops a diss track. And Deji did just that. He was in LA this past week and he dropped a diss track, a fat one, on KSI. Now, this diss track was pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I've seen some pretty bad diss tracks in my day, but this was pretty bad. And that pretty much confirmed it to everybody. They said, eh, clearly it's fake. Uh, these guys are brothers. Uh, they might have concocted this game together just to get a little bit of attention because I think they saw that their popularity was kind of waning. And I saw somebody online say that Deji was so close to getting the diamond play button and he needed like a little boost to his channel because it sort of like flatlined and his content wasn't really going anywhere and it kind of sort of peaked on YouTube. So he really needed something to give a little bit of a spark to those numbers. And people were saying that him creating this fake feud with his brother was exactly that. And I think it's working. Like I'm talking about it right now. So clearly it's working. And the absolute biggest slap in the face, whether it's real or not, was when Deji appeared on the Logan Paul podcast. Impulsive. Great name, by the way. I gotta give you props on that. Deji appeared on this pod and he said all the things that have been happening over the past week or so, everything is completely real. Nothing's fake here. This is 100% 
100% real family drama. Not for show, not for clicks, not for nothing. It is all real. And I'm just like, uh, is it though? Is it? Now, Keemstar released a drama alert video today, yesterday. I don't know whenever this video is going to be released. And he said that he had had private conversations with both Deji and KSI. And both of them, without being prompted, said that this was real. This is 100% real. They're not talking. The beef is real. It goes all the way through to the family. Nothing is for show. It is all 100% real. But this was before Deji released the diss track and this was before Deji went on the Logan Paul podcast. So I don't know, uh, just personally, I don't think it's real. Uh, I think these two really needed attention because personally, I think after the whole YouTuber boxing thing, I think these two were really exposed for being, you know, not so creative, not so funny, not so entertaining. They were completely outshone by the Paul brothers and they really needed a ploy to propel them back into people's minds, get people talking about them again, because legitimately I had not heard from or seen anything from KSI or Deji ever since the YouTuber boxing. And now they're back. The headlining drama alert. They're on Young Noodle Arm's channel. Like they have made it once again. It's all YouTuber drama, fake BS, garbage. Don't want to talk about it much anymore. This is clearly fake. Let's close the book on that, shall we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> And the final piece of news involves our other favorite Paul brother, Logan Paul. Now, as most of you might know, PewDiePie vs. T-Series is the biggest feud on the internet right now. It is a David vs. David battle. Which superpower is going to overtake the other superpower and reign supreme as the most subscribed channel in YouTube history? Now, PewDiePie has received massive support from YouTubers like Mr. Beast, and everybody else on the YouTube platform is 100% behind PewDiePie. They want him to take down the evil corporate entity that is T Series. And somebody posted a poll on Twitter and they asked the question Should the Paul brothers jump in and help out? PewDiePie get him to his goal of defeating T-Series. Now the poll unanimously agreed that the Paul brothers should step in, use their clout, use their nine-year-old following to help boost PewDiePie's numbers. And so then Logan Paul responded in a massive, massive way. He made a video and he said, PewDiePie, I'm on your side. I want everyone in the Logan Gang to go subscribe to PewDiePie right now. If you go through and click the link that I have in the video, if you do it, I'm gonna donate one crown for every person that subscribes. So he's doing a little bit of charity work. He's trying to get PewDiePie up way above T-Series. It's a great thing for the YouTube community. It's beautiful to see. Let's hope that, I don't know, two people do it. So. He raises some money, I don't know. So that's it, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna talk about YouTube Rewind in a few days. Now I'm not gonna be like everybody else online and whinge and moan and complain about it because hey, it's a video. It's a video, doesn't matter, it's just a video. So what I'm gonna do in a few days or so is I'm gonna make my own personal YouTube Rewind 2018 and it's gonna touch on the things that YouTube obviously wasn't gonna mention because hey, <laughs> it's kinda messed up, it's kinda fucked. That's gonna happen in the next few days or so, so stay tuned, watch this space, make sure you sub to the channel if if you are new, make sure you ring that notification bell, ding, 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 so you can stay notified and, um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.